Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in today's uh, video lecture, uh, we know that, that how we can calculate uh, these uh, portfolio uh, performance measure ratios, uh, and we have learned its interpretation in our uh, previous video. Uh, now, first of all, we calculate uh, uh, this monthly risk free rate, uh, sorry, uh, annual risk free rate into monthly risk free rate divided by 12. Then we calculate uh, portfolio return. For portfolio return, we use log function ending divided by beginning. And then we will copy it to the next cell to get the return for market. Uh, uh, for getting uh, betas and Jensen Alpha, we need excess portfolio return as well as excess market return. So first subtract this risk free rate. From portfolio return and uh, place a dollar sign before F4 and copy it to the next cell and check accuracy, then it is okay. Now copy it down for remaining months. Now first calculate average risk free rate by using average function. And then copy it to the next three, uh, next two cells. And then calculate risk of portfolio means fund, and then risk of market by using standard deviation function. Now, now we need uh, calculations for downside risk. For downside risk, uh, we use this methodology as I have already explained in my uh, previous video. That we need return minus target return square, and that should be multiplied by FT function. Now here, portfolio return minus target return. Here we are using risk free rate as target return part two. And then FT means we will place zero, uh, sorry, we will place one if this our return, portfolio return or fund return is less than target return, that is risk free rate of return. We place one, otherwise we will place zero. And then we multiply the square division with FT because it penalizes only negative returns. We will repeat the procedure for market portfolio. Again, market return minus target return is same risk free rate raised to power two and again with the help of for if condition if this market return is less than target return that is of risk free rate we will place one otherwise we will place zero and again, we multiply these two. Now copy all these formulas for the rest of the months. Now take it some and then take some for market. And divide this numerator by number of observation that was 12, and take its square root to get downside risk. And copy it for market downside risk.
Now for information ratio, we need, we need tracking error. Here we use benchmark portfolio, as you can see in this methodology. Here we assume that our benchmark portfolio is market portfolio. You, you can take any benchmark, it means you can take any fund as well, or you can take a benchmark as a risk-free rate, it's up to you. So this is a portfolio return, and then benchmark return, take a difference, and then the standard deviation of these differences uh, will give us tracking error. So we have standard deviation formula, just copy it here. So this is basically tracking error. Now after calculating all these uh, basic calculation, uh, we will make summary here. Uh, we have risk-free rate, average of risk-free rate, then average of portfolio return, then risk premium, portfolio return minus risk-free rate of return, then standard deviation of portfolio, then standard deviation of, uh, we just copy it to the next three cells to get it for market. Now to get the systematic risk, we use slow function. Definitely we needed significance. Uh, here just we calculate slow function, excess portfolio return, first range and second range, excess market return. And then we calculate Jensen alpha with the help of intercept function. And again, it needs significance as well. Y range and then X range. So downside risk of portfolio here 0 0.046 and downside risk of market this one and beta of market is one and Jensen alpha market is zero. Now tracking error of portfolio is 0 0.0735. Now after making the summary, uh, then uh, we calculate these performance my year ratios. First sharp ratio, that is a uh, portfolio risk premium. This one divided by standard deviation of portfolio. Then trinar again the numerator is same and it is divided by systematic risk. For Jensen Alpha, just we will use this value 0.0095. And for Sartino ratio, as uh, the target return is risk free rate, so again we will take this one 0 0.0066, and otherwise we will calculate portfolio average portfolio return minus average target return uh, divided by downside risk. Here is downside risk. And then for information, just we copy it the next four cells to get it for market so that we can compare. Now, here information ratio. For information ratio, we have portfolio return. Excuse me. We have portfolio return. This one minus market return and divided by tracking error. And for R square, we use R square function. Again, Y range, comma, X range.
So we can check that uh, what is uh, uh, this is basically Sartino ratio. 0.073. It's OK. Uh, so it's it's all about that how we can measure the performance of uh, fund managers. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, in the next video, uh, we learn that how we can compare these results and how we can calculate uh, portfolio return or uh, mutual fund return uh, with the help of XIRR function. Thank you very much.